In this lesson, we will learn how to create a visual comparison filter in Google Sheet. What I mean by visual comparison, here we have 742 staff member. I can simply select to display all the staff member if the salary is greater than 88,000. So directly now I know I have only 12 staff member according to my criteria. I can go with greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, equal. How many is exactly taking this salary? It is only one and so. The main data here, we have 742 staff member. So let's add a new sheet. I'm going to name this one as new filter, so I know. What I need to do is to query. So I'm going starting from, let's say, A5. We can start anywhere. I'm going to query the main data, the HR list. I will select the top row, but I will remove the number at the end to indicate I need the whole data, comma. My query is to select all data where I, I is the column with the salary greater than 88,000. Now I will add two code to close the select practice to close the query. Now we know we have 12 staff member with this amount. Our task is to create this one, the same select statement dynamic based on user selection. So I prepare a list with all the different comparison. And by the way, you cannot type equal in any Excel cell. If you try to type equal, you will get an error. If you need to type equal, you have to add one code, then equal. Otherwise, you cannot type equal inside an Excel uh, Google Sheet uh, cell. Anyway, this is my um, options for the filter. So I'm going to display, let's say here, I'm going to highlight it with a different color data data validation i'm going to allow list list starting from equal till not equal so if i click ok if i go back to the new filter now i have list here according to the user selection i need to display the icons i'm going to vlookup whatever the user select from here i'm going to search in my list returning the result from column number two with zero for exact match so if you select greater than it is greater than if you select greater than or equal to it is greater, and so now if you can type the number here now we need to create the exact select statement so i believe it is very easy now we are going to concat or concatenate we have select asterisk from select asterisk where I this part never change. Then we need to add the icon and the value. So if the user select greater than 88, we will end with the exact same result. Now, in my formula, instead of typing my statement, I'm going to refer to this cell. Okay, so let's go to not equal. So I have a different lizard uh, greater than, uh, let's say, 90,000. We have only one staff member, uh, and so on. So now we create this one dynamically, but we have one more issue if there is no selection we will get error everywhere so if there's no selection i need to display all here so in this case it's very simple if error if there's no selection if there is an error please type all and in concatenate if it is already all, if this cell is equal all, I don't need to concatenate. In this case, honestly, or actually, I need to select asterisk. Otherwise, go and select asterisk according to the uh, comparison and the value. 
So I'm going to add one more comma. So as long as there is no selection, it is all, which means select asterisk. But if I go to less than, now it's less than zero. Again, I have error because this one is blank. So also, if this one is blank, I need to display zero. So we can, instead of using F2, I can use, let's say, F1. And F1 is, if is blank, this one, display zero. Otherwise, display this one. So now we have zero. Now in my concatenate, I'm not going to use F2. I'm going to use F1. So if there's no selection, it is zero. So less than zero, no one. But greater than zero, I believe everyone. But if I type a value, let's say greater than 80,000. Now I have a result. Now I can create, a, of course, this range. I don't need to be displayed, so I can choose the text uh, font to be white. And of course, you need all this cell to be in a very far cell in a different location. But because I'm, I'm, I'm just explaining, I put it here. So... You can put it away from the user. Anyway, now I need to display a statement saying, according to this criteria, we have this number of staff members. So it's very easy. We can simply count A. Let's say all the column O's. A, so A, A. So according to selection, we have 88 staff member and some of salaries we can simply yes, double click here equal sum i know salary is in column i so i can type i to quote i so if i have no selection i know we have Uh, 743 staff member because I start from the ID if I need to start from the first one so instead of a I, I'll make it a6 to start from the first number here it doesn't make any difference because uh, salary is not a number so it's not going to affect the value so let's go with um, greater than or equal to uh, 77,000 we have 100 and, and so on. That's it. Of course, a copy, uh, a link to the file will be with the video description. That's it. Thanks.